Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today I'll be looking at some multi-team gameplay from the new playlist on the map Ragnarok. This is Infinity Slayer. As you can see, we are green team, and green team always normally spawns um, on the very central portion of the map. Over here in King of the Hill, this is really useful because if you spawn here, the hill is right there, top center, and you can easily rush for it. But this is Slayer, so the first to leave 50 kills wins. I'm going to go here and grab the railgun and embarrass this dude who should never be using a suppressor. Um, right here, I hang behind these rocks because I hear a sniper. And I'm going to make sure that that sniper thinks I'm not here, doesn't know where I am. Fortunately, he's not there. Uh, that was just what I heard. Now right here, I'm just going to let this clip play and then explain it after. Okay guys, so I've reround the film to the point right before I get this Kiltacular, and let me slow it down a little bit for you guys so you can understand why in the world I got this Kiltacular. It really is a lot of luck. Um, as you can see, I charged a railgun here, but um, as the Warthog passed this red player, the red player did uh, stick the Warthog, um, and this sticky grenade isn't very visible. Um, he does uh, stick it, I believe you can see uh, right there, but it's um, that little shiny thing in the middle. Um, that's why the blue little stream right there, uh, he did stick the Warthog, it's kind of glitching inside the Warthog. But um, my railgun impacts on the Warthog before that sticky grenade um, actually blows up, as you can see the sticky grenade falling over here. And so when my railgun impacts the Warthog, it blows up the Warthog, but it also blows up the grenade. In other words, it prematurely detonates this grenade that's stuck to the Warthog. And that gives me the kills here. And as you can see, uh, because the grenade, it sort of kills this red player here. So that's four kills for the overkill. And the next kill is just really self-explanatory. I quick reload. Um, I'm going to explain quick reloading with Rogan a little later on the video. I almost got the kill tacular, but with a little rush. Um, Notice how it's still got that, shield, that guy's shield low, though, which is pretty good. Um, so right here, I'm just trying to use up the rest of my railgun. Do a pretty rash maneuver here. I lift out the front of the base. Um, fortunately, it ends up working out for me very well. Get a pretty nice railgun shot here. Pull on the incineration cannon, and unfortunately, this part does not hold up the common in. I want to get into the caves, trying to stay on the sides of the map, but I see an enemy player who has Promethean Vision. And he immediately uh, noob sticks me, um, speaking, throwing a grenade right as he's about to die. Um, I, if I can pause here and just mention for a minute, um, since this film is only four minutes long anyway, um, I really do not think that um, you should be able to spawn with plasma grenades in, in the game, in any game mode whatsoever, um, simply unless it's custom games, simply because um, driving vehicles is a nightmare now, and getting noob stuck by people who really don't know what they're doing and people who you really should have killed very easily. Uh, it's really frustrating in the game, just like that example. I'm not saying people shouldn't spawn a plasma grenade just simply because I died at that one specific instance. I've had a wide variety of experience with very dumb deaths um, concerning plasma grenades, and it really just uh, annoys me, to be honest. But there's not much I can do about that. My teammates getting really good shots there. Now, I want to point out something about the light rifle. It is a four-shot kill if you hit the fourth shot as a headshot, and this is only when the light rifle is zoomed. As you can see in the top right hand corner of your screen, when the light rifle is zoomed, it combines its normal three shots per trigger pull into one single bullet. And yes, like the DMR, this bullet is hit scan. What does that mean? It means the bullet immediately travels across the map as soon as you pull the trigger. It is immediately across the entire map as soon as you pull the trigger, just like the sniper rifle in the DMR. Now, I would like to mention that no matter what, if you don't get a headshot while the light rifle is zoomed, five shots will kill someone, which is often what I go for because the person isn't facing me, which is which means it's a little bit more difficult to get a headshot, especially at long range with the light rifle. The light rifle's bullets are a little bit bigger than the DMR and the battle rifle uh, and the carbine, so it's a little bit easier to hit people in the body. Right here we have some really good team shots there on that enemy ghost player if he gets out of the ghost and we punish him. Now right here, um, I want you to notice how I um, approach this guy on my radar approaching from the left. I immediately back up and I use my thruster pack to get away between these two little curves here. He's using the assault rifle. He doesn't know what's going on. 
and I end up jumping out. I'm always, notice how I'm always aiming as he came around the corner. I'm always aiming where he's going to be, always trying to find him. Um, that's a really good way to get one extra shot in an enemy opponent. As you can see here, going for those the body shots, trying to clean up these guys. Um, get, a, get a few assists here. And right here, um, I'm not sure exactly what to do. And here's my dilemma. Um, I only have, uh, you can possibly see right there a little better, I have only three extra bullets in the light rifle. So what do I call down, the damage boost or the um, railgun? At long range, with the light rifle, the zoomed light rifle, should I say, the damage boost is insane. It kills people in three shots or less. It's completely ridiculous, and even against vehicles, it's just a monster. But I don't have very much light rifle ammo in reserve, so I choose to trade my light rifle for the railgun. And when you have the railgun plus VR combo on a big map like Ragnarok, you really want to stay into the sides of the map. Um, this is why uh, this gameplay, I don't end up trying to shoot long range here. You can see I back down, choose to reload my railgun and push for this side cave. Because I know if I can push into this base, um, this base uh, directly over here, I'm going to be able to get some pretty decent kills. And thankfully that does work out for me. Now right here I am going to pause and explain uh, quick reloading on the railgun, which is what I just did right there to get the double kill killing frenzy. So let's go over this. Backing up here, um, you see that there's this one player on my radar who I shoot. And then as I reload, I sort of somehow quickly reload the railgun. And I'm just letting you know, it's very easy if you practice in a custom game with infinity ammo. Um, it's very easy to practice this. It does re uh, reduce your reload time by about half a second to a second, depending on how good you are at it. Um, basically, as soon as the bullet appears in your clip in the top right-hand corner of the screen, Double tap the Y button on your controller to switch weapons. You, in other words, you, I quickly switch to be my BR and then back to my uh, my um, railgun. Sorry, I got tongue twisted there. When I switch like that back to my railgun, um, it quickly reloads the shot into the clip, and so I avoid that recocking maneuver with my left hand on top of the railgun. I'll play it one more time for you. So I didn't do here. Get the bullet in my clip, double tap the Y button to quickly reload, jump out, and there it goes again. Now this is actually a little farther on, this is after I got the double kill, and here I'm going to be moving on, and again, getting this kill. Don't end up um, reloading this railgun shot quite as quickly. You can do it very fast. Um, as soon as the, again, it's, that's a re great railgun shot right there, but as soon as the bolt appears in your clip, uh, notice in the top right hand corner the red flashing bolt. As soon as it turns blue from you inserting the bolt into your railgun, you can immediately double tap Y, which will cancel half of the animation. That's exactly how you fast reload the railgun. Sorry about spending a good amount of time explaining that. It's just really critical that you understand that because it's a really great maneuver to pull off in a tight situation. Now right here, the film is drawing to a close. I would like to point out this is only my third game of the day, and so uh, several of my shots are a little off simply because I tend to be more rusty with my uh, sniper rifle. Uh, that's probably the most rusty thing I am with at the beginning uh, while playing Halo after not playing for a while is the sniper rifle, for sure. I um, do get some, I mainly get body shots, to be honest. Um, get a pretty good double kill here. Um, and this is really how you snipe, just moving left to right. Notice how I predict where this player is going to be, aim where he's going to be, and get the kill for the running riot. Guys, that has been my multi-team gameplay on Ragnarok. I think I got 20 kills or more with only one death. Very impressive. 23 kills, actually. Um, guys, if you like me slowing down this gameplay and giving more in-depth details and examples on how to do specific things in the game, like the video, subscribe for more future Halo 4 content. And for those of you guys waiting on the... Uh, thruster pack video I want to, the tutorial I'm going to come out with I want to give you a little insight here I'm going to post the funny montage before the thruster pack video I'm working hard in the thruster pack video but it's uh, taking a lot more time than the funny montage was to edit so it's going to come out first in the thruster pack video I'm working hard on it and it will come out later so just to give you guys some details um, I will do this where I give details like that at the end of my videos um, so you really want to watch the entire clip all the way through um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time or whenever I capture or record. Peace, guys.